What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I want to talk about Tesla Cam and the most efficient way to view your dash cam footage. So if you go to save clips, you get all these folders like so. Uh, anytime you click a folder, you're going to get even more files. And it's just really, really complex and hard to view all your dash cam recording, right? It's It'd be very tedious because you have right repeater, left repeater, and front. And this, these three files here are just one minute of playtime. So if you want to view a like any type of uh, dash cam recording for any certain time, so let's say we went to this date here and you're like, okay, I want to view this. Uh, this folder's not too bad. There's only like two minutes worth of recording. But I mean, you'd have to sit here and view each and every individual video file. So not the most efficient way to do so. Uh, that's where this comes into play. And I made this video. So it is a app called Keep Summer Safe. Uh, if you don't know, Keep Summer Safe is from Rick and Morty. Uh, there's a full Easter egg in your Tesla. I thought the this whole the name of this is really cool. So you go to keepsummersafe.app, just type that up in your browser and hit enter, and you will come to this web page like so. Uh, when you're here, you want to take out the USB stick out of your car, out of your Tesla, and plug it into your computer, and then go to select clips. Uh, when you're under select clips, you obviously want to go to your Tesla cam folder. Uh, you can go to save clips or recent clips, whatever you like, and then go to the folder you want to select. So in my case, I selected this folder here, 2019-06-22. Now, you will notice you can't click open. You have to click files. So if I click one file here, it will only show me the front, like the front for this one in particular minute. We don't want that. We want to select every single file in this folder. The easiest way to do that, scroll up to the top. Click the very first file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold shift, select the last file, and you can see I have 30 files selected. The other way to do this is select any individual file, hit control A, and again, 30 files selected. Uh, whenever I hit open here, like any, whenever I hit open, the video footage will start playing automatically, which you will see, and open. <laughs> and it's really, really quick. You can see it played it instantly. So it's not uploading or anything, it's just literally viewing uh, your files and allowing it to play in a very easy to view format. So you can see I have 30 clips selected. If I want to go to a different date, I click here again and then go to the side and uh, totally select a new date, uh, a new folder uh, to view more dash cam footage. It's really quick. So uh, with all that said, all this video footage is in one minute increments. So you can see I'm on June 22nd, 9.56.59. So I can click here. And I can go to 957, 959. I missed a minute there. I don't know what happened. Dashcam recording is not always the greatest. Uh, still beta, right? So anyway, we can click here and we jumped up ahead. I can also click this little wheel here and I can like jump up to a certain point. Uh, I can go back a minute, forwards a minute, uh, speed. So you can go slow-mo, uh, you can go two times, and you can go back to normal. Uh, so you can see it's really, really quick, really intuitive. Uh, if you want to view your dash cam footage really quickly, you can go 10 times, 5 times, whatever you like. Or if you spotted something, you want to go slow-mo, go slow-mo or half speed. So it's just like a really neat, quick way to view your dash cam footage. It's a very intuitive interface. Uh, what I really like about this is you can see here it's playing through. And we'll, we'll drag it up ahead. So let's say you're watching this. I have it on like normal right now, but let's say I had it on two times. I don't have to click here to go to the next minute. So you'll see here it's at 9.59 and it should and it will automatically jump up to the next minute clip. So it's just like automatically playing one after another. So it is really, really cool that way. Uh, like I said, all you need to do is go to keepsummersafe.app and yeah, you, you get this. Uh, the last thing I wanna point out is the cameras here. So you'll see there's this little box in the corner so let's say I want to see the front camera. Actually, I'll show you why I saved this clip and then you'll understand. So I have the left repeater, front camera, right repeater. So let's say we want to see the front camera like bigger. Uh, so we're gonna click this little box in the corner. If I scroll down, you still have the left and the right there, just that the front camera is like front and center and it's nice and big. Uh, but yeah, I thought this app was pretty cool, this web app, and it's probably like the easiest way uh, to view, view dash cam footage. There's another one like this that's a little bit more, oh, real quick here. This is why I save this. Check this out. Look at this car in front of me and he wants the signal to move over. And uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, that they came really, really close there. But uh, yeah, I was saying there's another one that's like this 
Uh, it's just not as intuitive, but it has a little bit more advanced features. And I will cover that one in a few weeks. Uh, but for today, I want to start out with the most uh, intuitive and simple to use experience. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is this something you will use? Does it make your life easier? Do you like the video? Because that always helps. And make sure you guys are subscribed for the latest and greatest Tesla content. And as always, the most important thing, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.